Thanks. All right. Um, just just to make things clear here, I and I, I've given that talk before, and I get wrong. Um, people got it got it wrong. So uh, I love Git. Um, so this talk is just I'm I'm stepping in the subversion lover's shoes and uh, explain uh, or try to try to bring up some arguments why why you shouldn't use Git. Um, so that's that's the thing of my talk. So don't take it for granted uh, and have some fun in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so um, yeah, this is my safe harbor slide. So. Again, don't take that for granted. It's it's just pure fun. So let's 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 dive right into into it. Uh, why you shouldn't use Git. So I'm I'm actually Sven. I work for a company um, that's actually doing some some Git tools. Uh, so that's that's why uh, today today I'm not I'm not uh, represented for the from for this company. Uh, today I'm today I'm just I'm just Sven. Oh, what's happening there? Uh, Shit, man. Um, so what what I did is I uh, did some some edits of my presentation and I um, checked it in in Subversion in a branch yesterday evening. So I just just have to check out that branch and then we are good to branch and then we are good to go. So check out the branch here and so start. Ah, uh, oh, it seems like hello. The network connection is a little bit slow, so um, oh, what's happening here? I don't, I don't. Well, I go with the local version, so so it was just a few edits, so 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 don't don't. Yeah, I can I can go with the with the local version. So um, actually, I think Git is a disease, and it's it's really sp yeah, and it's spreading like a disease. So if one team starts using Git. All of a sudden, another team uses it, and then the whole company uses it, and they cannot go back because there is no way back from, from Git. So subversion, really. And it spreads like a disease, and, and you know, the word Git, it, it, it sounds like, oh, we've got Git. Oh, sorry, you've got Git. It's really, it, it, it sounds like a disease. It's, it's not flowing like, oh, we're using subversion. That sounds much better, I think. Um, so I think Git is a really unnecessary product, um, and you know unnecessary products. I have some examples for you for unnecessary products, and I think Git is 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 also an unnecessary product. So the first product I wanna wanna talk about is Big Underwear. Have anybody heard of Big Underwear? Yeah, Big the Lighter Company. They were doing underwear. They thought it's great. We're doing underwear now. No, it was an unnecessary product. Nobody needed really underwear from Big. Really, nobody bought it. it remo they removed it from the market. Another, another unnecessary product is pet water. Who in the hell needs pet water? Really? Nobody needs pet water. I mean, we just take it from the tap. So why? It's an unnecessary product. Okay, your technical audience, I give you a, a, a more technical, technical example here. And this is this one. Yeah. You know, I've been working with Java 2 Enterprise. I've, and I got gray hair from it. You see, I lost hair from it. And my team, I, 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 so I went away from that team, but they still use it. And yeah, it's, it was an unnecessary product. We should have skipped that version from, from, from Java to Enterprise. So, so, from Java Enterprise. So, and now, and now we got Git. And everybody think Git is so awesome. Git is so great. And I, I was thinking, why are people really believe that Git is great? Why is that? And I think it's because of this guy here, Linus Torvald. He, I mean, don't get me wrong, Linus, he, he invented the Linux kernel, and it's great. It's a great operation system. I love it, and it's good. And then he came up with Git. And everybody thought, oh, it comes from Linus Torvald. It must be good, so we're using it. Yay! No, don't use Git. Um, so maybe Linus, he, he invent, invented it for his development of the Linux kernel, we all know that, uh, and, and it's, it's working great, but you know what, it's, it's really made for open source. And what is open source for? Open source is for hippies, really sharing code, really, we are serious developers, we don't want to share code, we don't, we are serious developers, so really, 
Open source is made for hippies and Git is made for hippies. So I start now. I give you uh, five arguments why you shouldn't use Git. And here's the first one. Um, that's what the Git propaganda tells us. It's working offline. It's so great. Git is so great. It works offline. And you can browse the history. It's on your machine. It's so lightning fast. It's so good all of a sudden. If, if you have used Subversion before, you will see really the difference. It's, it's so great. You know what that does mean, working offline? Working offline means it disconnects us from our team. So if I'm working from home with my VPN tunnel and I have to browse my Subversion repository, to be honest, that can take some time. But you know what? If it, if it takes too long, what, I, what I'm going to do is I pick up the phone and call my team buddies and say, hey, who changed this freaking line? Who was that? Can you, can you just find it out? Can you look it up in the subversion uh, repository? And then he's saying, oh, it was me. I say, OK, good. So it really connects us back to the office if we're working from home, because we're really talking to people. It's not like we can find that directly fighting fast. We have to call somebody up. So that's, that's great. Don't use Git. Git is really dick disconnecting us, disconnecting us from our team. Don't, don't use it. OK, let's see. Argument number two. This is what they tell us, the Git propaganda. Git is distributed. And you know why this is good? Because um, developer, they can code independently. They can code independently wherever they want. So they can work on the beach, in the, in, the, in the office or maybe in the coffee bar and work on the same code and then they merge and merging is a breeze and this is all great. But really, this is, this is, maybe, maybe this is good, but it, it's, it's really missing some, some, some great features. It's really missing some essential security features. That's, that's the reason why it's missing, some, it's missing some security features like, you know, locking files. Locking files is awesome. We don't want to step on each other's toes. So I can lock it, code independently, and then I can unlock the file and other, other people can, can code on it. So it's like when I, when I want, to, want to go and I want to leave for the weekend, you know, I lock the file that I'm currently working on, and then I, I don't have to worry uh, coming back on Monday that some hippie developer, passionate guy over the weekend has changed all the code and I have merge conflicts and all this stuff. No, it's locked. Nobody can change the file. That's great. And it's also great for team, team leads. You know, what I did when I was a team lead, I locked all the files. I locked all the files. And then I had my, my staff, my, my people coming to me and saying, oh, can you please unlock the file? I want to change that. And I, 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 had, I knew everything, what they were doing. I could, I could control them. This is great. And they came to me and said, please, Sven, can you do that? Well, this is, this is great thing. So this is what Git gives us less control over people and over code. Really, get this. Don't use Git. OK, the next argument, what the Git propaganda wants to, wants to tell us is branching is fast. It's so lightning fast. You know, you say just create a branch, you create it locally. That's really great. That's so good. You know what I tell, tell you? Branching is maybe fast, but where's the time for the natural break in work? Really? So here's a, here's a cool flow I got with Subversion. I, I branch. I check out. And maybe then I code. And sometimes it, it even takes longer if I check out. So I, I, can, I can even grab a cup of coffee uh, and talk to, uh, talk to my teammates. So here's, here's the thing. I can get a cup of coffee, talk to my teammates, get social, all the stuff, chat, chat with my teammates, what, what have they been doing over the weekend. Or I can check my status on Facebook and, and, and chat with, with my friends there. This is great. During the checkout, this is my time for a natural break. Awesome, great, and you don't have that with Git. Git makes us unsocial. We don't talk to people that much because we just create a branch and then we can work. Really, it makes us unsocial. OK, argument number four from the Git propaganda. You have so many possibilities with Git, you know? You don't, you don't, you don't get anything wrong with Git because here, you stage, you stage your, 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 your changes, you commit your changes, and then you push it to the remote branch, and then you merge it back. This is how you work with Git. You know, with Subversion, it's just one thing, and this is just commit. 
Why is that good? Because really, all these many possibilities, they really means that we don't do accidental commits anymore. Just commit half of the, half of the files and then, then the build breaks. You think this is, isn't good? We had fun that time at Atlassian, when, 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 when I'm at Atlassian, when, 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 when actually the build broke. You know, we had this build server and then this missile launcher, and it was shooting the guy that broke the build. Boom, look at this, subversion, build broke. Oh no, and look at him, he's laughing. He's laughing, we had fun. We had fun that time, that was awfully. Where's the risk anymore if you have so many the staging area, commit, push, merge, all this, all the security things you get into that. You, you, you lose the fun at work. Git, Git really, Git is less boring, it's, it's, sorry, it's less fun, and it's boring to work with it because we don't have these accidental commits and this fun anymore at work. Um, so the last argument I want to share with you is easy merging. This is what the Git propaganda tells us. Merging is, is easy. It just works. It's just git merge. That's it. Easy merging. Everything works. Good. But you know what that means? It really, easy merging, where's the team experience when you merge? You know, we had, when we had this long running branch in subversion, and then we had this, okay, now we have to merge it back into our trunk. What are we doing? So everybody commits their code right now to the trunk, and then it's hands off the keyboard, we're gonna merge. And then we had some, we had, we had, okay, we had a lot of conflicts, to be honest, yeah. But you know, this conflicts really gets us into discussions. We had some discussions about the code, why did you change that, why did you do that? Git merge just, just works, so, so really, don't use Git. Git is really destroying teams. We had this great conversation and Git is, is just trying the, the whole team experience. Don't use Git. And think about that. Do you really want to grow up your children in a world of distributed version control system? I say no. Thank you very much. Thanks for your attention. Don't use Git. <laughs> What's my checkout doing? Ah, yeah, still. Thanks. <laughs>